Now to go deeper and connect these dots with holiday shipping is former congressman and current executive director of Keep Us Posted, Kevin Yoder. Congressman, last year was a nightmare. You had Christmas cards showing up in summer. Are they ready this year? Well, it remains to be seen. Um, I actually just got a Christmas card returned in the mail that I mailed last Christmas uh, a week or so ago. <laughs> so we're still dealing with last year's uh, and we know a lot of Americans are concerned that the Postal Service won't deliver on time. In fact, it's become a little bit of a punchline, I think, around kitchen tables uh, across America that the Postal Service uh, isn't uh, doesn't deliver on time, uh, that it may never deliver at all. And um, that's a problem for our nation that relies on the Postal Service for a lot of really important um, daily items, not to mention uh, the spike that happens over the holidays. Well, and you look at approval ratings of USPS because we each have an individual relationship with our letter carrier, let's say, and, and those are pretty high. But then when you get into the politics of this and like what reforms are needed and all that, it gets kind of ugly. So let me see if we can help pinpoint some of the issues. What is the role of technology at USPS? I had a package that was way, way overdue last year. I spent forever on the phone, got to the local office, the supervisor. After all this time, they basically said, we don't know. And you can write to the postmaster general and they won't care. In 2021, why isn't the technology better? Well, it's a good question. I know they've been making some investments uh, over the past few years, but the Postal Service has a long way to go to be uh, modernized and as efficient as they can be. You know, I do get daily emails that say, here's what's coming in my mail each day. You know, the, there are services you can sign up for that are certainly uh, much more advanced than they once were uh, for, uh, for many daily users. I think some of the challenges the Postal Service faces, though, really is just in the delays in service. And some of this, uh, by the way, is intentional. Uh, on October 1st, the Postal Service announced that they were intentionally slowing down the mail, uh, that a normal piece of mail, first class, is supposed to be delivered within one to three days. Uh, that can now be delivered up to five days and still be considered on time. What about the human element? Because... You see Santa with that, that big old bag, and it's heavy. And a postal worker recently, I was just having a conversation with someone who's a postal worker, and they said, first of all, we're short-staffed. I never knew. They have to sort and then load all the mail and then deliver it. They frequently get injured because they're picking up heavier stuff these days with all of these deliveries. How can we better staff USPS? Well, the Postal Service does have a plan to increase uh, staffing over the next decade. I think they're going to add maybe 100,000 new uh, em employees. And I, I think in terms of, you know, those postal, postal workers that, you know, work long hours, um, that are, you know, carrying the heavy mail, uh, I think part of our message is that we have to take care of our postal workers, that, um, you know, they're serving the, the country. And they're going to 161 million locations uh, six days a week, and they're the only entity uh, you know, none of the other, you know, private carriers, et cetera, they don't have to go to the last mile. They don't have to go to that rural address. They're not required, but the Postal Service has to. You know, getting this mail delivered, uh, it takes a lot of work. So we certainly think uh, responsible uh, support uh, for our postal workers is a critical part of this. Final question, Congressman. Big picture, holiday, not holiday. Mail right now is coming sometimes at my house twice a week. In a good week, three times a week. And in places where, you know, if you're going through immigration, if you're going through Social Security, you know, some of these other government entities, it only comes by mail and you need them to come. They're not coming. Who's going to fix this? Yeah, so this is a real problem. And, and whether it's financial documents, whether it may be a, a credit card bill that has to be paid by a certain date, um, mortgage payments, uh, insurance documents, there are a lot of things that people get in the mail that we sort of think of every day that have like due dates that are critical and that there are penalties. Uh, and you mentioned immigration. There's all sorts of things that if your mail doesn't arrive or it arrives late and then you're sending something back and that takes a long time, um, it's really panicked a lot of people. I hear about it every day just in general conversations about, well, you better mail that early because, you know, we want to make sure it gets here on time. And they're not just talking about Christmas gifts. Executive Director of Keep Us Posted, Kevin Yoder, we appreciate that. And we appreciate everyone who's showing up doing this really, really hard job every time they show up at your door with a letter or a package. We should all be saying thank you. Appreciate it, Congressman. Thanks. Great. Thanks so much for having me.